Have you ever stopped to consider how much waste is produced by retail stores, particularly grocery markets each day? It's a staggering reality that we often overlook. According to reports from the Natural Resources Defense Council, if the United States reduced food waste by just 25%, it would save enough energy to power one and a half million homes for an entire year. Consider this, an average grocery store wastes around 60 loaves of bread each day. For a grocery chain with 200 stores that's close to 1.5 million loaves of bread wasted every year. That's not just food waste, it also represents a significant environmental impact, with a saving potential of 1,000 tons of CO2 yearly. The Food and Agriculture Organization estimates that over one-third of all food produced globally is never eaten. Their stark proclamation? If food waste were a nation, it would be the world's third largest contributor to greenhouse gases. But what if there was a way to significantly reduce this waste? Introducing a four-pronged approach to combat retail waste. A strategic system that not only reduces waste but also benefits the environment and the economy. Our first prong is refining demand planning. This involves a careful assessment of product needs at each store. Traditional systems often overlook the perishability of products and the importance of incorporating historical customer trends into future forecasts. This can result in over-ordering and consequently, a loss of revenue from unsold perishable goods. But with the integration of advanced technology, we can enhance demand forecasting, especially for short-dated perishables that need to be sold within a limited time frame. This approach ensures accuracy and efficiency in demand planning. The second prong is maximizing consumer purchasing. Customers often hesitate to pay full price for items nearing their sell-by date resulting in these products remaining unpurchased and eventually discarded. By implementing AI-driven dynamic pricing solutions, retailers can automate markdowns of products with shorter expiration dates, boosting sales and reducing waste. Our third prong is monitoring waste hotspots. With the help of technology-enabled tracking, we can collect data more accurately and efficiently. Coupled with analytics, retailers can pinpoint the root causes of waste in their operations. For instance, identifying items that are disposed of in larger volumes or days of the week that generate more waste. This approach provides a clear vision and motivation for change. The fourth and final prong is redistributing what remains. Where food waste cannot be prevented, it can be repurposed or redistributed. By implementing coordination and matching technologies, food donation becomes easier. Furthermore, technology allows us to unlock new value in food waste, whether it's converting it into animal feed or beer, or even using it to produce electricity. Each prong of this approach plays a crucial role in fighting retail waste, creating a sustainable and efficient retail environment. With this approach, it's clear that we can make a real difference in the fight against retail waste. So, what happens when we put this approach into action? Imagine the change we could bring about, not just in retail, but in our world. When we refine demand planning, we not only save money, but we also minimize unnecessary production, which in turn reduces energy waste and carbon emissions. Maximizing consumer purchasing through intelligent pricing strategies means fewer products end up in the trash, and more in the hands of those who need them. It's a win-win for retailers and consumers alike. By monitoring waste hotspots, we can identify and address the root causes of waste. This could lead to more efficient operations and even the creation of green jobs. And finally, redistributing what remains, we're not just throwing away less, we're giving more. We're feeding communities, powering homes, and even creating new products from what was once considered waste. It's clear that the benefits of taking action far outweigh the costs. But what can you, as an individual, do to help reduce retail waste? Well, there are actually several practical steps you can take. First. Choose products with longer expiry dates when shopping. This simple act can help reduce the amount of food that goes unsold and eventually gets discarded. Second, support stores that are proactive about waste reduction. Show preference for retailers who use data analytics to refine their demand planning, maximize purchasing, monitor waste hotspots, and redistribute remaining products. Your patronage can encourage more stores to adopt such strategies. Finally, be mindful of your own consumption and waste. We often buy more than we need, leading to waste at home. Aim to purchase only what you can consume. Every decision you make, every product you choose, contributes to the bigger picture of retail waste management. Remember, every effort counts in the fight against retail waste. Together we can make a difference.